Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Plays.org, which is a great new site for finding games that you and your students can play or you and your children at home can play. Let's go ahead and take a look at this site and what makes it a little bit different than some of the other game sites on the internet. First of all, at Plays.org, you can register, but you don't need to. In fact, you can do everything on this site without ever registering at all. And additionally, you'll notice as you scroll through, there is not any advertising on the site and the site doesn't track your activity across the web. So you can really use it without creating an account and without giving away any personal information. Now you'll notice here that I've scrolled down to the education section and this little collection of education games. But if I go back up to the top, you'll notice there's also a categories option. And here you can go through the entire catalog of hundreds of games that you can play on any device. So let's go over here to the math category, for example. We'll open that in a new tab and we'll see all of the math games at plays.org slash math dash games and we'll see all these games here and we can look at some category favorites but we can also look at the entire list of all the games we can scroll through and take a look at all those games and i want to show you one that i like because I actually used it with my own five-year-old, and that's Curious George Museum of Tens. So let's go ahead and open that game in a new tab. And when I do that, I want to point out here that every game on plays.org has this Museum list of tens. has this list of game features and what happens in the game and then you can go ahead and play the game but if you don't want to play quite yet you can scroll down and you can see full directions for the game including how to actually play the game and you'll see there's a target audience listed for the game as well you will see that the game has no adult themed content so let's go ahead and now play the game now i've muted the audio playback for the sake of this video but there is some nice little audio. And in this particular game, the narrator reads out the exact text you see on the screen here. Click the number below to tell George how many more things we need. And we have nine things. So we need one more to get 10 altogether. And yay, George got it right on the first try. And then we can go and do that again and we'll see a new list of objects here and the narrator will read aloud the text that we see on the screen up here and George or the player being George will have to click the correct answer right down below to get to 10. Like I said, I played this with my five-year-old. She liked it quite a bit. So that's one option. And let's go ahead and look at the spelling games. There's a whole category of spelling games. And I used sight word bingo again with my own five-year-old. And I'll show you how this game worked. And again, we'll see here that there's a little description of the game, what's going to happen in the game, kind of overall rating of it. Difficulty is very low. And we can go down here and read even more information about it, like how the game is played and the game controls. But let's go ahead and launch the game. Now, I'll point out, that below every game, there's also the option to click to play this as a web application. So if I click here and open that in a new tab, we're going to see now it's just the game standing alone without anything else on the page. And we can go ahead and play the game. And we'll select the word group with my five-year-old. I did the pre-primer games. And then on the next screen, we'll choose the size of the bingo board. And again, I've muted the audio playback for the sake of this video demo, but they'll hear the word read aloud, and then they have to guess or correctly choose. And in this case here, I chose wrong. 
I should have chosen find and not my. And you'll see there's five attempts that you get before you have to start over again. So that is a short overview of plays.org. I think it's a great place for you to find educational games that your students or your children at home can play. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.